Okay guys, on this call we have three systems. They are all three sweating back, nice and cold suction. But this one is blowing out room temperature air. So I need to find the air handler and see if we got any heat strips stuck on. There it is, right there. Thank goodness. Right, the original reason for the call was a high electric bill first thing I did was come around and check all the suction lines and they were all cold and then I checked temperature drop and this one is for the master bedroom that's about all that it does and this one has basically no temperature drop and the house is maintaining 69 and 70 degrees. <coughs> oh, this insulation is going to get me. Yep. We have a heat strip stuck on. And look at this. <clears throat> well, I can stop that right now. Heat strip stopped. All right, what's happening is this is welded together in here and it's back feeding voltage through here, through my Molex onto that sequence for bringing on one of my heat strips. So I just turned it off, but we're gonna need a new, either a new board or a new relay. All right. What I'm going to do is use a 9340 relay. Everything I need for the relay is right here. <clears throat> Let me see, I may have to rob common from somewhere right there. I don't know if I'm going to need to go get a wire or what. 
but there's a gray wire. Let me put this where y'all can see. Let me just go ahead and mount my mount my own relay. I'm using the 9340 relay. And um they're basically bulletproof. relay this is where my oh I can smell it this is where I'm gonna put my wire for my blower motor right here wire all right so this is the one you want to get hot this is excuse me i can't tell if y'all can see this or not if y'all can see that little diagram right there this is normally open this is normally closed and this would be considered like a common this one has power all the time So it goes right there these are two more speeds but we're utilizing high speed and this blue wire that I had disconnected this one it goes on the normally closed still makes a good Okay, let me see. I got to decide whether or not I'm going to take that board completely out. I might. Right now we just need low voltage, our green wire and a calming. So, this is going to be common, that's going to be common, that's going to be common, and then these two reds are just broken by my fuse here and 
And that one that looks white is actually gray. That's going to be my green. Yeah, that's the right wire. All right, so we need to get common here. But we don't really need it on the board, do we? Can all of those reach? Mm -hmm. Let me go get a central, just one wire. I can hook all those two and put common on that contactor. And we'll do away with this board up here all together. All right, I just cut all these browns. All right, that came off the transformer. thermostat wire I got one more dangling here somewhere this one Alright, so those are all my commons. And we're going to add one. Oops, I can plug in right there. That leaves my two hots that are broken. I could plug that back in, but we're not going to do that. Insulated. Oh, that don't look good.
right, so you just take your fuse and all right, so we no longer need that board. I'm gonna go ahead. Well, I'm not gonna put the power on just yet. Turn this on, the fan should not come on right away. We're gonna have a delay on unless it's turned on at the thermostat. Alright, Not pulling any amps on the heat strip. There's nothing to do but wait on that time delay. But this, yeah, you're gonna have to remove this screw to get your blower out, but um, it's no big deal. And that right there is more reliable than a replacement board. All right, it just came on. I'm pulling 2.29 amps. I just heard the condenser come on. Contact uh, the relay clicked heavily and brought on the fan. This one's done. 